chat hello it is time for the event that you've all been waiting for the twitch pog legends ultimate chess tournament let's freaking go team guys this event is gonna have viewers discord members streamers friends family the mailman all right everyone's gonna be in this thing we are gonna introduce our other um buddy joey so real quick before i introduce joey just so you guys know tonight's event is gonna be four rounds of swiss all right what that basically means is people are going to be competing for points a win is a point a buy is half a or a, um a tie is half a point and a loss is zero points whoever has the most points at the end of four rounds will make it into the top eight so the top eight players will qualify for the top eight after the swiss the swiss is going to be rounds of 10 minute chess games unrated of course random colors after people make it into the finals, into the top eight, we're going to be doing three minute games, best of threes. And for the finals, it is going to be a best of five. We'll see if he's here. We'll also switch our transitions up a little bit. Let's lower the music so we can hear Joey's glorious masculine voice. Joey, Fred. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Nice to finally meet you in person. Because normally you just hear my voice. So now you get to enjoy the webcam, too. I'm really excited for this event. We got a lot of great people signed up tonight joey and they don't have to worry about us participating so they can have a nice time and enjoy the tournament so guys these are the participants in tonight's event some of these guys are other streamers you guys might have checked out in the past it's uh there everyone is um i think really hyped about this event the rapid ranking will be the ranking that we'll be looking at for the swiss and the blitz will matter more for the for the top eight and again this rankings don't affect how people are going to get paired they're just for our personal knowledge see who he wants to um who we want to commentate everyone who gave me an unranked rating or a rating of zero i automatically put here is 800. yeah this is going to be interesting i'm trying to i'm going to try and figure out how i want to do this now so it, it re actually it just repaired everyone who um who who checked into the event properly and i think it filtered out everyone who was not i i do actually although i hate to say it i think it's actually going to be best to uh make this a practice like a, a a round zero and start it from the from the top this round was round zero, AKA a test round. I am a Papega and um, accidentally jabated every one. My B. This is the final official thing that we're playing with. <laughs> Round one has begun. Get right into your games. Um, I see Doran playing his game. So Doran looks like they literally just started with Cruz, who is sub-zero. So we'll take a look here. Uh, I have a strong feeling that Doran is going to um, to do pretty well here. Doran is very highly rated. And we have the bishops opening. So this is just standard stuff from both sides. Yeah, Cru Cruz is killing it. Cruz is really, really doing well. I'm, I'm very proud of him. You know, we'll see. Yeah, Cruz is Cruz is probably gonna go like just like some random moves. He's probably just gonna do like that or like I don't know. He might go like here. He might if he. I mean, I hope he does like something nice like this. Yeah. See, that was the first move I said. I said he was gonna do. I said it. I said it. He's gonna do this random move that doesn't do anything. Um, which wouldn't surprise me. I would be surprised by that move. Yep. And now we take with pawn and then Cruz. Hopefully. We'll put his knight here. That's a great spot for the knight. Attack the dark square bishop. I guess he, he's got it. Oh, he actually doesn't. Yeah, he has knight and pawn. He can even just go d3 <clears> if he <throat> wants it. Oh, he found it. Dude, I'm very impressed with Cru with, with Cruz's play today. I don't think it was best, but I mean, he, had, he wins the bishop pair at the very least. I, so. I'm very, I'm impressed um, for Cruz. Cruz is 240. And I think it's playing very solid so far. Just playing regular chess. It's black to move. But even if he castles now he needs to do this yeah it's still a pin oh baby oh Cruz cool. cool. sees this he could actually go he... queen g4 check and double attack oh my right. god he saw it wait is, is Cruz cheating there's no way Cruz is this good at chess there's no way sub zero is this good he hasn't played any crazy moves it's just he could, he could, as soon as he blunders that bishop then he's in a, a worse position all of a sudden so oh no he just blundered right like there. that yeah like that Wow. So now you're completely losing position. That's hilarious. Okay, good. 
long that, between That was not not what I liked the most there. Whoa. Oh, whoa! Wait, can you take the pawn? Oh, or take no. the queen? Wait, what was that by Ryan? Yeah, what was that move? It had to be a mouse slip. What was that? I believe in you. Yeah, like, like I said, Ryan is actually very good. I think Ryan could definitely still win this. Or at least still made somehow. That's, that's true, yeah, that's true. Oh, oh whoa! Oh, oh, let's go! Oh, man. Oh, it's gonna be even now. It's gonna be perfectly even. This is insane. Oh, oh this is so cool. Priority number one in endgame is activate your rook. Oh, oh no, it's check. Wait, it's checkmate if he does that. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he saw it! Wow. Okay, good. I mean, he's gonna lose one of these now, unfortunately. But here's my cowboy hat. Oh, look at look at the time, by the way, Joey. Look at the timer on both players. They only got it's about two two minutes, and this could go to time possibly. Unless he blunders here. Oh, okay, yeah. Now there's really no hope for white. Yeah, that's it. Rook c five, and then queen. It's over. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about. It's just, it's game over. Yeah, there's this is it. Right, I think we're gonna switch into um we'll switch into someone else's match. Caroline next playing the boss and it looks like the boss is maybe black and Car oh this is a pretty even game wow, look at this so it's zero white is up two pawns with an outside pass pawn and so that would normally win you the game but because the queens are on the board like this black unless he blunders will always have a perpetual check meaning that those extra pawns don't mean anything but if white can get black to trade by a clever check or some type of scheme and the queens come off the board White's gonna have an auto and a winning game. If if white can trade the queens like this. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Oh no! Oh what was that? It's they were on time because Car Caroline and Nick was on or no a uh, boss was on time. That's why they blundered. They oh, had zero. Man. They had zero seconds left on their clock. Oh, okay okay. Aaron is playing against Jessica. Looks like Aaron is uh is doing quite well. Okay, but it's tricky because black he's making some threats. So if white doesn't defend well it could be trouble yeah black is really not gonna have anything here unfortunately okay i want to yeah, see who else is around whoa look at this white has two pawns but black is a rook this is interesting look at zero zero against par so march it's a draw it's a draw it's a it's a draw right the rook's gonna have no choice it has to sacrifice it itself yeah and now yep and it's, this is over it's a draw yeah. wow what a good. tight game nice I, and that's honestly good. that's good for par that's really good for par, especially because Benny is so high, excuse me, so high ranked. Guys, while we're in between rounds, waiting for the second round to load, please everyone start your round two. Let's get the tournament moving. We have three more rounds for the top eight. Let's get going. Here. It says it's closed. Okay, good, then that's good. I, I, the, there was a bar ticking down on my screen. I don't know why it was taking so long, but the game is actually pretty even so far, which is great. I, I don't know what Black's, uh... It's probably just develop, yeah. Perfect. White's attacking a seven pawn. He could also take the knight and double up black's pawns, but it's not advisable because it opens up the G file for black's rooks. Okay. I would have yeah. liked taking out another piece more, like the bishop or something. Agreed. Could go here now and like go here. You can double the rooks, which is kind of cool. I mean, right now there's no clear open file. So what was this? There was a pawn take here. So what, what did we miss? Um, oh, there wasn't a take. It was just a push. Yeah, Black tried to trade bishops. Right, and they pushed the pawn. But now, oh yeah, you cannot take. I see. You could just move the bishop back though. I but think this is a good square know. for the bishop too, because it eyes this whole thing. He might push the a7 pawn up one instead. He, he has to just go back. I feel like this is a good square. This doesn't look. This doesn't look very good. But people, he might try to put it there. He put might, but then five. you just like, then can't you just do like this and make it move again? Five. This is this is scary right now. I don't like this at all. You got to move this pawn up. One of these pawns up. Oh no! So now you have to take, and then he's probably gonna take with this pawn. Well, you don't have to take because you get the pawn either way. I feel like the better, uh, maybe not. It doesn't yeah, look maybe. like it's weak, but in reality, black can't actually attack that d4 pawn. It's too well protected, and it's too easy to protect further with white rooks. Uh, Joey, what kind of Joey, what kind of fish you got? I used to have a lot of different fish, but currently just I don't have any fish. Just albino clawed underwater frog. It basically frogs, frogs underwater. And it might be a generational thing. A lot of kids my age had would buy sea monkey. You buy them like on the internet, and they come in like a package, 
and you buy them online and they come in like eggs. You buy a pack of eggs and then you pour them in water and they like hatch and they breed and there's like hundreds of them. They're like, and they flow around the tank They're And they only last for like a few months, I think, or something, but Ooh, oh, that was a great move. He read your mind. Yeah, rook b4, protecting the pawn, perfect. Yeah, this is awkward because he has this. What if he goes here and like here? That doesn't really have a plan either though. Yeah, try to create some type of fortress. So he goes to the open file, which makes He can sense. go here. He yeah, could eventually give up this and take that. There's think. no reason to play defensive for white. You need to just win the game. Black's the one who should be passive. Yeah. Like, a lot of times you may be losing, but there's still some sort of plan you can do. But here there's no plan for Black. I wonder if if Nick Daru fan will know how to convert this once the rooks trade off with the extra bishop. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Nick Daru fan is good enough. It looks like he's pretty like he's, he's pretty similar ranking to myself, so I assume he would know how to. Now he's going to take check, and then he's going to win this pawn, too. And he might win this one now. Oh, what? What? Oh, time out. Oh, I didn't even see that. I was going to say what just happened. Wow. All right. That's a win for uh, for Nick Daru fan. Nicely done. That spectacle. Nice. Nicely done spectacle. All right. Let's see if anyone else is still playing. Uh, King Fox is still playing against Ghost. It looks like this is pretty much lost for uh, for King Fox. Yep. Okay, this one's a little bit closer, although it is still obviously winning for white. Um, Joey. You really can't do anything as a black here. Except, once again, try to create a fortress. Take white's pawns and then create a little, like, igloo structure. Black's fighting pretty well, though. He just has to watch out for forks with the king and the rook. He has to keep them on different colors. That way the queen can never fork them. As soon as they're on the same color, then he's gonna be in trouble. And now he goes queen b2 and the rook's not there. Okay, so check again, check again. All right, check again. I guess this is probably better for white though, right? Well, it's winning for white. Oh, 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 oh. He should have um, maybe moved the rook there before pushing the pawn. Wait, no! Wait, oh! oh! He, he the rook. Doing with the Just check. push push the pawn. They're on time, look at the time, look at the time. He's nervous. He, he only has 20 seconds. Rock, Rohit and Beal doesn't know what to do. Take the rook, King E4. He, he's, he's not seeing it because he's not thinking for enough time on his moves. He needs to get his queen onto C6 and then push the pawn up again. What is this? Uh, what is happening? Oh, he's going to lose. Or a draw. Oh, my God. What? He wanted to get the draw because then he wouldn't lose on time. That Black. maybe is what he was going for. Wow. Sub-Zero and the boss for the last game. Mate in one for uh, sub for the bosses has a mate in one and that's it. All right. And that's the last game. So the boss has won. I'm super happy that all you guys are able to show up and we're about to start the third round. So everyone in the tournament, you guys can start. The third round pairings are now available. We do have two more rounds. Then we have a top eight to play all tonight. So we're going to just get we're just going to keep things moving. Let's take a look at Agnes. We haven't looked at Agnes and we actually haven't looked at your boy K Fred yet. So they just started their four moves in. I think it's Angus. Oh, I'm, I don't know why I said Agnes. Uh, Ag Angus, I'm sorry. Black gave White a really strong center, and that's what accounts for White's big advantage here. All White has to do is push those central pawns because those knights are misplaced, technically. Mm -hmm. um, because White can easily advance and kick them away. And that's what happens when you give your opponent the center. But now White is trading his strong central pawns for no reason, and that's why his advantage is just dipped. Right. Oh, oh, this is interesting. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why. They, whoa. It's mistimed because of the bishop's diagonal. Bishop G. Yeah, I like this move the most. Where's bishop G2? No, once you move your G pawn, I mean, you're almost obliged oh, to move the bishop down G2. If you don't, it makes absolutely no sense what you're doing. And now you, you pretty much have to take this. They take with the queen. And now black's just up a pawn. Oh, this is looking really nice for, for Angus. You can yeah. easily. Just I like this. E6. This. Oh, e6 yeah. is probably the real move here to just. Yeah, I like this a lot. And then you can eventually do that. Ooh. Because he doesn't go e6, the d pawn is now protected by the knight and the queen. So, oh, but white misses it. White could have taken black's knight with, with his bishop, removing a defender. Oh, and then take this. Yes. Exactly. 
and that's why Rook B's age is a blunder. But yeah. even here, like the move that I suggested previously, Queen B6, now actually comes with a stronger threat on B2 because the Rook happens to be behind it where it wasn't previously. Mm -hmm. I don't like any of his moves. No way, see, he can't oh. take, he cannot take the Knight because then the, the Queen gets hit, so he can't take. On this turn anyway, the follow up, it would, be, it would be Queen C6 check, followed by Knight D5 looks very, very strong. Yeah, I, the uh, Angus should have castled a long time ago. This king's not looking really hot right now. And there's some interesting stuff. You can, I mean, you can take, you can just take this now. He has to, he has to do this. But then you like take nine takes up six. So, maybe. Nine oh, takes up six. yeah, and then you and then you win this. Oh, that's. I mean, he's gonna lose this. I think. I don't think there's any way to save this. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's not good for black, but even then it's his best move, but <clears throat> losing an exchange is better than losing a piece, generally. There has to be something. I don't know if Kevin's gonna see this. I'm not super confident about it. You don't even have to take the rook if you don't want. You could just take take the pawn twice. Uh, so I you could take, take that. Takes, pawn takes knight, queen takes pawn, because the bishop is pinned. Pawn still. takes knight, queen takes, oh wow. But I don't think he would see that either. And then once the h8 move, rook moves because it's under attack, right? Then you can go queen c6 check and take that other rook. C6. Mm. Well, he could block. block. He could block with the queen though, right? Yeah, but uh, rook takes bishop. Rook, rook takes e7 check. Yeah, rook takes e7 check. King takes. Bring the other rook over. Kevin's spending a lot of time. Oh, on it, uh... Yeah. Wow. Nicely done. Whoa, he did the move that you suggested. I don't know. I'm saying you don't have to take the rook, but you should have taken it. What? Well, I don't, I, yeah, this is definitely better. The only mating that white has here is queen h6, put a rook on h5. That's the only mating that he's going to have possible. Yeah, there's, you can't, you can't mate from, from this though right now. I feel like there's too many pieces still on the board. You don't think black is going to be able to win this? I think if white trades off all the pawns, mm -hmm. he can draw this. You can't go to h4 because of the dark square bishop. You'd really need that rook on h5. Black could just end all of white's possible potential counterplay by going queen g6. Well, it's not even so much to attack the bishop because it's already defended adequately. It's just to get your rook in the game, which is certainly better than h3. Yeah. Boggle he could have at black. least moved it up too. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, and this is a movie you were talking about. And he gets to go here. Okay, but now he just moves then he just moves the bishop here. Well, that's, he's attacking the F2. But pawn. now yeah, but now take take oh yeah, you can't even go here and it's hit this. Yeah, this is interesting why he's thinking about this so much. He's spending a lot of time on this pretty simple move. Oh um, maybe he's disconnected. Oh no. That would suck. Results of other games. So I can see DeBoss has beaten Sub Zero. We can see Fox and Ghost Fish Pet drew their game. And we can see oh, White won. By abandonment. Wow. Oh, White won? Yeah, White won. Oh, ouch. That's that's painful. Oh, you. no. Someone's still using AOL 56K. Moto. Yeah, who's still using Internet Explorer? Yeah, he abandoned. Oh, no. So yeah, this is a, I mean, this is a win for KFRED. That's the only fair way to do it, unfortunately. We can't make the players play a new game, so this will count as a win for KFRED. Look at this, look at this wild board. What is this? Look at this board state, Joey. Just digest this for a second. It's a closed center, the ridiculous amount of hold. Yeah, this is insane. I can't even process this in my brain right now. I'll just do like the opening real quick. All right, so we have a really oh, weird A3 three. move. And then this queen check. Look at this F3. Is this Fox? Oh my goodness. But he could have just taken the rook immediately. Who could, who could, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is hilarious. Wow, look at this, look at this. Whoa! What? What? Fox is a mad lad. These players right here having a great, a grand old time. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. What? What was this? Now he loses the knight. Oh no. Oh, no. oh the king move. The king move. <laughs> Poor guy. Sub Zero. Is this a real game? Sub Zero versus Heim. Let's see. Yeah, this is a real game. This is a real game, guys. Okay. Get get hyped. Get hyped, chat. Let's go. Well, not anymore. 
<laughs> it Wait, was a move ago. I don't know why he just gave up the knife for no reason. He could have retreated it safely. Oh. See, I didn't analyze the board enough before thinking about this. 238 ranking. That's crazy. How is... Oh, no. Poor guy. Even if the queen wasn't there, it would have still been a blunder. Heim is getting a beating. Half champ said Heim is getting a beating. Little did F Jam know that Cruz, that Sub-Zero would blunder his queen. <laughs> All right, so H4. Trying to create a post for the dark script. It was... Check. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can do that. Yep. I think you just... You can't move the king up to connect the rooks, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's... Now the queen's going to take pawn with check. And it's... Ooh. Oh. And then he's going to take the rook on b1. I, I love how this is very losing for black, but I don't think black... Very losing for white, but I don't think black might know what to do here, which is which is going to be interesting. But he has a queen, so he should know. Yeah, like, but look he, at that. Look at, look at that no, move. No, no, He had bishop f7 taking the queen. Why bishop here? f7 bishop. oh yeah. there's nah but i don't think he would have seen that he could have at least taken the this is at least an obvious move i think yeah you're right yes this is a phenomenal move did white win wait heim won on time oh that might also be why he didn't see it because of the time all right so we have most of our rounds reported um Ag so i believe that is every single player in the fourth round let's um let's hop into the next round guys you guys are welcome to get to get rocking and rolling we can actually look at the standings real quick this is probably a good time to look at the standings as well we can see who is doing well spectacle and doran are the two three oh players so at the top of the list we have a lot of people with two points let's see who the first one is to start okay we got rohit and beal playing against carolina nick let's take a look here both just started and no moves have been played yet. Good luck, both of you guys. The, the Vienna, oh, I love this opening. I hope he knows how to play this opening. This guy's the Vienna Gambit. This is a phenomenal opening because if black takes, then white goes here and knight has to move back. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm really glad I studied this, this, this opening, Joey. This is gonna be exciting. And now you have all sorts of shenanigans here. You need to stop this move because there, there's a check here and you stop it by doing the knight, doing the knight here, which is which is what Harpo did. Uh, and this is also another great move because now you're gonna win this pawn back and you're just winning because white is so far ahead in development here. Look at this, it hits this, it hits this. And this is the power of the Vienna Gambit right here. Oh, I didn't actually, I don't actually know what this move do, does. It's just a strong developing move. Yeah, there you go. Um, and when you cast over here, you have your rook on a nice open file. This is really bad for black. Yeah. This is kind of wonky. I don't like that he moved all these pawns up because now a ca this castle is not going to be as strong. So he has to. Now he pretty much has to castle this way, I think. Um, it depends. We'll see. We might have. We might end up doing a fifth round depending on what Chalunge wants to do. Looks like Ride the Iguana already beat Break Even Stream. Nicely done, Ride the Iguana. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, and Carolina Nick here is up is up two whole juicers, That's which is hard to overcome. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of a challenge for Oh my. Both of these are pretty good moves. Yeah, look at this this up. You think you push the pawn here? Well, you can't queen it because knight of 6. Um, uh, but if you take, he can just move the rook up and then you can't it's never going to queen. Yeah, but then you can go if he moves the rook up, you go rook up a check. Oh, and here. And then yes. Knight because you get a queen okay now it's 50 now it's pretty balanced pretty even but let's say he doesn't take let's say he just blocks with this then you take the knight yeah I right would. if take yeah this is an interesting game he has to block with the bishop yes he has to do this and yeah, now this is stuck these pieces are glued here very nice move. Both players yeah, have both, he played it. Yeah, he played this this both players have about four minutes left. And I'm glad he snapped this move. I was making him play quick on his feet. That wasn't the right move. No. But I like what he did, just develop the bishop, but black is up peace. White's pawns are doing fine here and here. Yeah, I, I think they she needs to do this move. No, I think he did blunder. Oh no. He missed it. I think he could have put the bishop on d6 because is the rook trapped? Yeah, but your rook. Oh, oh, you're right. Yep. All right. So we've made a bunch of moves. We traded the the knights. Yeah. This is now now no longer looking as winnable for white. Thing is, there's really nothing for white to do here. There's no. Oh no, you don't even need to move this because there's a pawn holding it. The king can't. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now black wins this pawn, and I mean that's gonna be that's gonna be it. We got four pawns over here. But anyway, we're on the chess team, and as a, as freshmen, there were two guys on our chess team. One of them was named Rohit, and one of them was named Beal. And they were the two top chess players. They were a lot better than any of us. Barbo assumed I would always ask about Rohit and Beal, but assumed it was like a singular entity. Doran with the resub. Let's freaking go. Thank you. And so, 
he finally found out that there were actually two people. One was named Rohit and one was named Beal. And he was like, this whole time, I thought there was this legendary chess player named Rohit and Beal who played both the first and second chess boards because they were so good at the game. So they played two boards because they were that good. <laughs> yeah. It looks like uh, Carolina Nick is, is dominating. They're both under a minute though. So once it's under a minute, anything can happen. That's true. He should push the pawn here, maybe. Discovered check, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, oh, wow. Yep, that's yeah, that's just yeah. it. That's GG. That's GG. It has to be GG. He could even throw away like some of his own pieces. Oh, yeah, he's going for the stalemate. He's going to try and hide his king like over here somewhere. March the pieces down. He's got 30 seconds to get a checkmate. Because he only has 20 seconds. This is going to be... Uh, yeah, but this, now is checkmate. this is checkmate. This is checkmate. All right, nice. All right, all right. Carolina Nick knew how to win there. Nicely done. He didn't even use the pawn. It was impressive. Yeah, that was a great checkmate. That was very smart. We just got a, we have two more rounds going. Aaron Wigwam uh, versus Silent Crow and your boy K Fred versus Cesar. Pretty. Uh, uh, we, are they still playing now? Let's see. Tricky position. Oh wow! Oh no! Great queen. So take, take. Oh, it was a wise move. Yeah. And it's looking pretty, pretty, um, pretty dead. Oh, Cesar has three seconds left. Cesar is going to lose on time. And mate in five. Yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, yeah, we actually do have a... Oh, this is actually a perfect top eight if we did it now. I think we should actually do it now. We should cut it here. That was the end of the Swiss, everyone. Thank you so much for participating. If you did not make it to the top eight, let's pull up the top eight right now really, uh, really quick here. So... This is how it's gonna be working from this point forward. These are our top eight contestants. Congratulations to the following. Spectacle, Par Annoying, Silent Crow, Ride the Iguana, It's Carolina, Nick, Ya Boy K Fred, Doran the Wary, and Rohit and Beal, which I think is an I, like that. For the quarter and semifinals, this is how it will be working. It will be a best of three, three minute blitz games, all right? There are different seated players. Spectacle will actually get to send the challenge request and choose which color they are playing for the first of the three games since they are the higher seed. This is gonna be a three minute game. It is a best of three in the quarterfinals and a best of three in the semifinals, all right, everyone? Let's go back into the, the game. And we'll see if we can load in some of the players who are playing. All right, K Fred and Rohit and Beal have started. So let's take a look at K Fred and Rohit and Beal's game for the first round in the quarterfinals. Three minutes only, so the players are going to be thinking on their feet. It's going to be a lot harder to, it's going to be a lot more challenging to play because you have to get the reps in to really play these games very well. Um, and it's off. What's up? Oh, he just blundered his queen. Oh man, this is intense. This is, these are, these are some exciting oh. games. Oh, that's, that hurts. This whole king side just got destroyed. Okay, they're the going, they're going quick. They're really using their time well. This is nice. Ke Kevin's really, really doing well. That's also fine. Hit this pawn. Okay. Now you're gonna still hit this pawn with a check and take this. Right there, he found it. Nicely done. Nicely done. Take that. There we go. Yo, Sophie Casher with the resub for the third month. Holy cannoli! Thank you so much, Sophie. I really, really appreciate that. Oh, oh, and White won by resignation. Wow. Your boy Kayford coming in with the win. Let's take a look at Doran the Wary's game against its Carolina Nick. So we have a, an interesting position. Very strong structure from both players, honestly. These players are both pretty good. Well, the knight on d5 is hanging for white as well. Oh, yeah. So take, take is probably what's going to happen here. What? You cannot go here because there's two pieces defending that. You have to just go back. I don't mind this move. I wish he would have made it a little quicker though. He spent a lot of time in that move. You can always um, kick your knight away with c6. I don't whoa. Know. Oh, no. he could have taken the d5 knight too, no? Oh yeah, he could have taken the knight, yeah. Yeah, queen take, yeah, take this knight. Now what do you do? Okay, that's fine. He can put his rook on the f-file, double up there. He can go knight He could go. I'm, I'm thinking this, it's either, it's, it's gonna be one of these moves. Huge. That's a huge redemption of channel points. Thank you, Sophie. Oh no. All right, here it is. This this might be unstoppable checkmate. Oh no, he's gonna push the pawn, push the pawn. Let's see if he's got 19 seconds. Oh, oh no, he didn't see the pawn push. Okay, now this is fine. Doran's got 28 seconds, he could still mess up. Okay. Oh, I like that move. I like this move, that was a good move. Block with the... Okay, nice, nice. Carolina Nick playing very nicely. I like this. Take with the rook. 
Knight in. Yep, bring the knight. Yup, there we go. Oh, he's gonna lose on time. Carolina, uh, Carolina Nick's gonna lose on time. Oh, Carolina no. Nick's in a timeout, maybe. <gasps> oh, can he check me? Just go here. Wait. Oh, he... no, that's not me. That's not me. The knight oh is no, he's not gonna have time. Whoa! Dorian winning on time. That is insane. Wow. He was winning on the board too. Oh, you're right. Yes, yes, Dorian was. Yes. But he only had three seconds, so he cut it close. Yes. I want to see. Um, I want to see another game. Okay, Parnoy is in a game. Okay. Oh, perfect. So Parnoying's playing in Spectacle. Parnoying gets to pick the color. Now this is going to be tough for Par because I don't think Par plays very much chess, and Spectacle might be the highest rated player in our tournament. An early queen yeah. mode. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like this. He should have just played a queen's gambit declined. This is look at the he can't castle either way now. And Spectacle, I feel like could definitely take advantage of um of the position. I uh, don't right, like I don't like that. D five. Oh, oh hanging, no, the head of queen is hanging. Woo. Yes, Whoa. Oh no, I par. Queen, yep, this is check. Take the knight. He is so, spectacle now has so many moves. This is this is already kind of one. Who didn't we watch? Wait, Silent Crow. This looks like Silent Crow is getting dunked on right now. Yeah, but he also white hasn't developed anything but those two pieces, so he doesn't like make a win out of this. Who knows? Well, he's up so, so now much. he goes right. here maybe. He took all of his pieces already. Oh my god. This is nuts. Oh, yeah, I think I White's, think White's definitely gonna win this. I and mean, look, he goes here, takes the Rook. He doesn't want to lose his Knight though, so he's playing around. That, that's fine though, like lose the Knight, dude. Just take the Rook and get get on with it. Like, like Knight, sure, take my Knight, bro. Look at all these pieces he's got. Wow, raid from Aaron Wigwam. Yo, Wigwam, thank you so much for participating in the event, by the way. I really, really appreciate you um playing in the event. I hope you had a good time. Thank you. Welcome guys to the Daru crew. We're um we're killing it right now. All right, so we got um Benny's still up. Black is just in the center of the board. <laughs> They're gang. I think did spec spectacle. I wonder if spectacle wound up winning his game against par. Uh, yes, thank you for the sh here. I will um. <laughs> Hold on. Um. All right, so this game is um this game is mostly over. I kind of want to check out maybe some other ones. Yeah, this game is pretty over. Let's go check. Let's go back to uh, Doran the Wary is already oh, down to a meet and four. Doran's also getting a, a little crushed over here. Let's see how Rohit and Beal is doing against your boy K-Fred. Oh, yeah, on the rook. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 this, this thing. White's position is still good. Um, it just so happens. He, he's not going to see this, though. This is a hard This is hard to see with the, the time constraints. And look at this move. I like I mean, this a lot. You have to see that because, like, that bishop is the best. You can you take can. this. Oh no, he missed it. Oh, poor lad. <laughs> Even oh. now, he's still up the queen. He's gotta move Wait. up now, maybe? He still doesn't take it. Oh no, okay, that's fine. This is good. <laughs> With the Look king. At White's doing good. good. Is White gonna keep moving up, maybe? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or Hidden Beal's really just throwing pieces now. He's just really throwing stuff out there. Oh, he can go here, here, I think. I think that's what he wants to do. That'll take two moves, I guess. C3. Oh, also this this um, well, queen queen. Oh no, you can't move the queen here. See, this is why I wouldn't do well in blitz. All right, and this is pretty much over for black mate in three. Yep, queen queen, queen here, queen here. Yeah, whatever. Oh my goodness, it's still losing though, because now rook over. Very oh my goodness. All right, Carolina explaining it's Rohit and Beal. I love how just in the first like five moves, there's already such like a skew towards one person. It's just like the, no one knows what to do after the first like five moves. Spectacle, the only undefeated player, I think, looking like the favorite to win so far. All right, now you, you're, you're hitting this pawn. Okay, that was a good move. Yeah, but not, now knight, knight here. Yep. Ah, uh, take. Take that pawn, please. And I think Carolina Nick lost the previous game, right? Or he lost one of the games we watched. So now Carolina Nick is winning this game. Oh, this is awkward because of this. Yeah, this is really awkward. What if you, then you have to go here. Then he's going to bring the rook down. Then he goes rook here and then you, yeah, it doesn't matter, unfortunately. Consider it and you auto rook move the rook. He's going to check and then checkmate. That's it. That's over. The check king moves here, checkmate. That's, that's the end. Yep. Hopefully he's spending some time, which is good. Oh, what was this? What is this move? He's he's gonna try and do like I don't know what he's doing here. Wait, what? What is happening? He's gonna go here. Yeah, but then oh now now black just made now it no now he just goes here. That's it. That's just it. This is checkmate one, right? Yeah. 
Oh, that works too. Okay. What about the other Nick Drew I lost? Okay, so that means Carolina Nick is the winner. Nicely done, Carolina Nick, my homie. Let's go, my dude. Benny Katz is still playing against Silent Crow. Mate and two. Oh, wow. That's a win for Silent Crow. Silent Crow, I feel like, kind of was an underdog here, honestly. That's actually not true. Silent Crow was also, I think, on the chess team with us in college. He was, he played one of the lower boards. I think he played like the uh, fifth or sixth board. So now that I think about it, Silent Crow actually makes sense that he's uh, he's performing pretty well this tournament. Harpo, did you, um, Harpo, did you win or lose? You lost. I got ranched. <laughs> Guys, we're about to get started with the quarterfinals. I hope you people are all excited and feeling um, feeling hyped. Let's just take a look at the standings really quickly. So Spectacle um, is the winner of his match and will be getting to choose the color they play in the finals against Carolina Nick, who is the fourth seed. And then Silent Crow, who is the second seed, is gonna get to pick their color against your boy K-Fred, who is the third seed. And look at this, we actually have the top four seeds in the finals, which is pretty funny. So we're gonna we're gonna spectate Spectacles game and Silent Crow's game. Let's look at um whoever's playing first. And Carolina Nick is playing against um, Spectacle. Here we are in the first game of three. Yeah, they're already 12, they're already 12 moves in. So just to take a look, we had a, a Queen's Pawn opening, just pretty normal stuff. These guys, now we're getting to like really good players playing against each other here. Castle, moving the Kings up, very symmetrical. This is where we are now. And pretty, things are looking very even, very, very good. I love the pawn structure for white here. This is a little bit wonky, but it's still okay for black. Very, very strong players here. Both these guys are very good at, at, at the game. I've played Spectacle on stream several times. Usually, I think Spectacle and I uh, break even pretty pretty frequently. So definitely a strong player. Actually, I think Spectacle might have beaten me the last few times he played me. I don't really remember. Yeah, now he's moving his rook back. I didn't like that rook at form of either. Yeah, I think it belongs here. Interesting. Now, he shouldn't have done that because now White had the option. He could have pushed, right? Yeah but, yeah, but this works too, I guess. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to trade here. Oh, um, I think Black, it's better for, it's good for Black to trade here, not White good for White. The pawn, actually. The pawn? Like, White is up a pawn right now. And that's going to probably account for a lot in the end game. Yeah, this is interesting. This is going to be really cool. I'm really enjoying this. This is um, we haven't really seen. It's very hard for him to prove his advantage. I don't know if he's going to be able to. Yeah, let's see if Black knows what to do here. Let's see if White knows what to do here. Let's see if either player does. I'm not even sure what I would do in a three minute game. Like, yeah, th yeah, this is real. So this is like a really skill testing portion of the game. This in this scenario. I mean, White has to try to push the pawns on the left side because it's four to three. I've, yeah, I feel but like I, White needs to be aggressive, and, or White Black can't. I feel like Black can't really push anything. Yeah, basically. Yeah, like I don't even know if I like that move very much. Black just kind of has to just. Because like now it's a three on two. Take, so take. Start. He could push. Yeah, I like the push actually. But now when he goes down here, there's a pass pawn. Maybe. Yep. So he's gonna go here. He's gonna take. This might just be. A, he might just lock himself. This out. could be a draw. It's probably gonna go to time though. I would imagine before the draw happens. I think what the way White wins is bring his king over to king g3. King to g3. Yeah, they're, the, they're they're both just playing for time now. They're both trying to time the other person out. I don't think. That black queen oh, black hit, you can push the A and B pawn and get a queen. Put the A and B pawn. Oh, you yep yep yep. You're right. So he could go here, right? And then he yeah, wins. Yeah, the, he wins this. Take. Yeah, he needs to push this because then take take. You will get a queen. But it is kind of a hard concept to see because you feel like you're just losing a pawn. Yeah, I might not see that. This is interesting. Oh no, you you can't really do this. You, the, king, the king can't go too far away from his pawns. Yeah, white's winning, but take, he probably take. doesn't know. Oh, this is good for white. This is good for white. Now white's gonna fence off the black king in this in this file, because oh. Yeah, but don't take. Yeah, don't take. Well, now, oh god, this is so awkward. Black should have just stayed where he was and, and not let white's king come to the right. Well, now he has opposition, so now white's gonna white's gonna win for sure now, because white's gonna eventually make, make the black king move away from this pawn somehow. He's gonna get to go like here. King e8. King e8. Now he's gonna go here, uh, and now he has to move away from the pawn, and this is over. Yeah, he, he could well, try to get a draw. He could try to get a draw. Yeah, well, no, but he's gonna take all the pawns. And now, and now it's over. That's it. That's the end of the game. Nicely done by Spectacle. He's gonna go for the draw, the, the stalemate maybe. But Spectacle, uh, Spectacle is pretty smart. Spectacle's not gonna let that happen. He's gotta move. Yep, yep, uh, yep, uh, yep. Smart. See, very smart. Now he's gonna go here and then checkmate. Nicely okay, done. That. Yeah, Spectacle knows what's up. Let's see what K-Fred's doing with um the Silent Crow. Silent Crow 
beat K Fred. Oh no, it's not beaten wow. yet. Never mind. Like I said, both these players very, really impressing me, honestly, with their chess skill. Both of them have been playing very well this tournament. Kevin's my buddy from college. That was, that was a blunder with the knight, right? Oh, yeah, it seems like he's been doing really well recently, getting better at chess. And same with Silent Crow, who played with me in high school. Silent Crow's playing very well this tournament as well. And now you win the Rook, even if it's not oh, a checkmate. Okay. okay. And it looks like the top two seeds are, are, are winning. Silent Crow's up a point and Spectacle's up a point. All right, here we go. Nice. King's Make sure you stick around for the finals of the tournament. We will be doing a channel points prediction. If you want, you can gamble your points on who you think is going to be the tournament winner. Um, and if you are if you are one of the people in the finals, make sure you vote for yourself. If you're gonna participate, do not vote for the opponent and throw. Although it does not seem like it's worth it to do that because there's a lot of prizes at stake, so. The hanging a pawn right now, the E4 pawn. This one? Yeah, right? Yep. I wonder why so he didn't put it here. Oh, he can take, yep. Take, 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 yep. And now he wins the pawn at the end. Or now. That's a good move. I like that move. I, spe I like that move. Now Carolina Nick's got to think. Yeah, now this pawn is kind of weird. I would have liked moving the rook. Uh, you could also move the queen here. Oh, well, you can't. We couldn't have moved the rook because the, the knight was hanging, but yeah. I would have liked queen here more. Rookie eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great move. Oh, no. He could, yeah, could. I mean, I still think trading the queen for two rooks is not not that bad. Well, it's not bad considering it's checkmate. Oh right, but even in a normal position, I kind of feel like that's pretty even. Wait, yeah, is it checkmate? Pretty... Yeah, it's checkmate. Holy yeah, cannoli! Checked. Carolina <laughs> Nick with the discovered checkmate. Let's go! Wow, wow. I'm honestly really happy he won because now we get to see a third game. Two rooks is stronger than a queen in lots in most situations probably, but. There are times when the queen is just more useful, depending on what else is on the board, so... Alright. It's a situation-by-situation situation decision. White's up an exchange and a pawn, so that's a lot of material. Yeah, I think I think White's still doing alright. White's got a pawn for, the, for their troubles, even though yeah, they're down. Bishop on c6 is really a beast. Oh wait, Black's one down. On the bishop where? Here? That, yeah, that bishop is a beast. And now he just did a discovery on the knight, White might not notice. Oh, oh no! Wow, and there we go. Now Black's back in the game. Do now he's going to move here, though, and he can start chomping no, no, at the pawns, no, maybe? Covers, covers. Oh, you're right. See, the, I wouldn't have seen that. Oh, oh I don't like that move. Before. I, I, lo I love how active the Black's pieces are. Look at how yeah. far up they are. Oh, oh we didn't God. see that! Whoa, your boy K Fred is throwing! And I wanted K Fred to win because then we get a third game, but. Right. It's looking like a Silent Crow now. Wait, I want these pawns to die, and this pawn to die, and these pawns to die, and I want to see if Silent Crow knows how to do a checkmate with the with the knight and the bishop. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. It's so hard to this do. This is gonna get trapped. He's gonna maybe trap this knight if he goes here. Oh, but he gets a queen. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. So this is this game's over. We can go into a. We can look at Carolina Knicks game. Out of all the games I've ever played of chess. I don't think I've ever been in a position with a knight and bishop against the king. If, but you, it's, if you're just up that much material, you play, but you have a pawn. Yeah. Like, that's just how you do it. No, sometimes it doesn't work, though. I'm glad I learned how to do it. <laughs> it's almost a, it's almost a waste of knowledge. It's so rare. It is, yeah. You're, you're probably right. It's like a waste of time learning how to do it. I've never even seen it in a game ever be played before once. There was a tournament with uh, Super GMs. They got in that position. He didn't remember how to do it. And it ended up being a draw. You messed really? up. Really? Yeah, That's amazing. Like That's amazing. That's so funny. Uh, J J Jacob, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. It means a lot, and you get to be a part of the greatest gaming community on the internet, the Daru Crew. That is my sister in the chat. She's a cool cat. Silent Crow won. Right. We actually saw that. I think. Seems like everyone left the Discord. All the uh. All the cool kids were uh, were done for the night. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's looking it's looking not super great for Black. Black, can, he can take this now. Okay. He could take the knight. Oh no, he can't because of the bishop. Oh. Spectacle is dominating. Spectacle is absolutely dominating. And Spectacle, I'm really, really a lot of respect for Spectacle about how he's playing with the time. He's like really knows. Now you have like, he just really knows how to like, oh, what? He just threw away his queen. Wait, wait, he just threw away his queen. 
Oh, he, he could have taken it. the queen. That would have been amazing. Um, oh my God. Carolina Nick's also gonna lose to time. Oh, he's gonna go for the second queen, and he's gonna he's gonna do this checkmate. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So guys, do not start the final round yet. Just want to say a couple quick things before we get into it. All right. And Silent Chris says we meet again. Spectacle, guys. This is very funny. Yes. Here we are. We've made it to the final round of um the Pog Legends Ultimate Chess Tournament with commentators Nick Daru and Joey Farad. This is what we've all been waiting for. The final match of the stream, the ultimate decider of the tournament. It is time, team. It is time. Let's freaking go. This has been our January special event chat. Thank you so much for participating. If you were a player today, I'm really hyped for this grand final round. It's gonna be super awesome. How are you feeling, Joey? I hope I don't lose my money. All right, spectacle. Whenever you're ready, send the challenge to Chromax and we will begin best of five three minute games. All right, here they are. So just so you guys know, we started the game off with um, it's, uh, uh, king versus queen pawn. All right, some knights coming out. White's ahead by a little bit of development. Um, and we are up to here. So pretty normal stuff so far. I don't think that's the best square for the bishop, really, but... Well, I guess he doesn't want to double the pawns. But doubling the pawns is strong because it gives extra protection to the center. Right. Double pawns aren't always bad. They do have their <laughs> pluses. All right, so what did they just take? They took the pawn, pawn. in the center. So rook over. So if, if take, take, uh, Spectacle's only up one point right now. Because he's up, he's up that pawn from earlier. So you have to go here. What happens if he takes the rook? Yeah. And then oh, take okay. the pawn. Oh, ooh, no. whoa, mate in one? Oh, cause Green move G over and, G whoa! Wow, nicely done, Spectacle. Ouch. That was fast. Oh, these guys are playing ranked too. All right, we're gonna watch this one from Silent Crow's side. Silent Crow is going to send the challenge for this one. Hopefully Silent Crow knows that he gets to pick the color. Uh, yeah, he hasn't been doing it the entire tournament, so. Yeah, so I hope he knows, yeah. Uh, just so everyone in chat knows, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, my name is Nick Daru. I stream three days a week on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern every one of those days. We stream a variety of games here. One of those games is chess, and this is actually a tournament for viewers and and streamers. Uh, we are doing events like this very frequently from now on, so if you guys want to participate in these types of events in the future, definitely give a follow, or even if you just want to watch these types of events in the future. These events have gotten a lot of really great reception from our community members, um, so I would definitely recommend hitting that saucy succulent follow button because it would make Joey and I smile. Uh, yeah. I think the only reason I went 2 one was that my name was Rohit and Beal. <laughs> true, Harpo, true. Uh, so you probably take this, I imagine. The knight's good where it is, too. Then take, take. The thing is, where would his knight go? It's trapped. I just like the pawns like this. I like leaving these pawns like, now he's like doing this with his pawn. Now he gets to, no, he, wait, isn't this a free pawn? Queen, queen. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, but now both players will have weird pawns. Yeah, we chop the knife. Here and attack these. You may yeah, want to okay. do that. You might want to move this up and move this bishop out and go around here. I don't know what the heck this is. I don't, I don't know what that was. It seems we call that a silent crow special. Yeah. All right, so this I don't know if I like. You're yeah, lining the queen up with the bishop. This is a new song on Harris Heller's Stream Beats, and I'm liking it quite a bit. It's a rock song. Well, I just minimized the uh, thing, by the way. Guys, if you guys are streamers, definitely check out Stream Beats, the free and easy um, way to use non-copyright music on stream. Ooh, so now wait, take. Ooh, and now he wins the, ro the rook. Wow, these are really good plays from Spectacle. Spectacle really showing, and you win the bishop. Oh my God, he wins everything. White just hung his queen. Did White hang his queen? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is kind of over already. Silent Crow has a lot of work to do if they want to win this tournament. Jeez. And it's, it's not even like he can win on time because um, Spectacle has double the time that um, Nick yeah. uh, I also think it's hilarious that Spectacle's played this entire tournament with the account Nick Daru fan. <laughs> and he might win with it. Yeah, he's looking like he's the favorite to win with Nick Daru fan as the, as the account. Yeah, this is pretty rough. And this is basically checkmate now. Is he just, yep, yep, that's it. All right, this could be a quick finals, guys. This could be a really quick finals. It's okay, he will come in clutch. That's true, he could win three in a row. It's not impossible. It's definitely not impossible. We're gonna watch the next one from uh, from Spectacle's point of view. It is gonna be Pog Champ. 
if there's any mods in the um in the channel while I'm looking if we um we have a nice regular slot exchange pretty standard it's only move five that's a little a little aggressive a little too aggressive and now white center is pretty much shattered it's gonna be tough for him to develop properly now as white well black's gonna have a much easier time Oh geez, why is that so losing? Oh, because of the uh, normally he... you can put a knight on c3 and everything's okay. I really wish that Silent Crow played like more normal developing moves and just did like yep, like pawn, knight, bishop, castle. Yeah, for a He's... game, like a game. Yeah, like this is a very. I feel like you need. I feel like when you play these these faster games, you really need to play a really like structural, strong opening. And, oh, oh god oh god <laughs> oh man he's looking like a slaughter here tonight team he's got to take it i mean if you don't take and he takes you could take back here oh that's an interesting move i didn't even see that but now he can yeah i mean and he could just take the pawn with the king is because the bishop out. yeah i don't like that now he wins the rook also and that's um or that that works too i think you got to move the knight out here i feel like he needs to connect the knights or he's gonna have tricks where he attacks the rook he needs to he needs to move the knight out he's threatening maybe one with that move but it was easy to get out of. oh yeah maybe that was the idea but spectacle sees i think spectacle knows now spectacle already got debated once by that Ooh, okay because yeah, but that one. doesn't i doesn't he needs to develop his pieces uh he just keeps moving this bishop like he's just gonna yeah. keep making him move the bishop with like or he's gonna eventually be able to get the bishop with like a like an attack. What? Oh no. Oh god. He may eventually be able to go like here and like win this pawn. Or like win this. Bishop go bishop b5 and then bring in the rook. Bishop b5. Yep. And yeah. bring, the bring in the rook. It wouldn't even be that bad if nah, like because the piece wise it was ugh, man. Now it's just devastating. Rook d3 is coming. Ooh, to rock. 10 seconds on the clock. It's tough. Sorry, White. Oh, man. Nice. There it is. Is that it? Yep. Yo, spectacle Zero. with the job. Now, in what? order to claim your prize, you have to beat Nick. <laughs> yes, now in order to beat the you claim your prize, you have to beat me. Spectacle gamer let's freaking go you have won the pog legends ultimate chess tournament the first ever pog legends event on the ruin crew gaming channel let's go save some energy for the light show guys everyone Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for participating and congratulations on the victory. Again, let's get some pogs in the chat for Spectacle. Thank you specifically, Joey, for doing this event with me. It was a pleasure to be here. I always have fun on your chess, on your chess streams. That's what I like to hear, man. Good job, guys. If any of you actually are interested in getting better, you can definitely do that on Nick's channel. Other than that, I hope you have fun. We have a lot, a lot of amazing things planned for this channel in the coming weeks, coming months. So much cool stuff is happening. You won't want to miss out. This is the biggest stream we've ever had in our channel, and it's only going up from here. Take it easy, friends. See ya.